Hello, boys and girls. Hello, everyone. It's reading time. Today we're reading Rocket Red, A Little Ant with a Big Dream, written by Cheryl DeVega and Dave Gibson, illustrated by Rami Shram. Rocket Red, A Little Ant with a Big Dream. Red plugged his guitar into the old car battery. As he and the Lucky Bug Band practiced their new song, Red shrummed a sweet melody for his honeybee friend, Bebop B. Oh, sweet bee, you believe in me. They say that I'm too small to get too far, but someday I'll be a big rock star. Bebop swayed to the music and did a little waggle dance. Red's music always made her feel instantly joyful. Suddenly, Red's mom, Queenie, flew in from the colony Ant Hill. Red, stop all those antics. Put down that guitar, Queenie snapped. Get to the picnic ground and help the workers bring up our meal. Someone left a delicious whopper of a burger, and we need every set of legs we have to muscle that burger up the hill. In a flash, the band scattered. In a flash, the band scattered. B made a beeline for the exit. Red looked away. His plan did not include scouting around for someone's leftover lunch and dragging it uphill. Red had fantasies of making it big, like his heroes, the Beatles. Mom, can't you see how music feeds my heart and soul? Red pleaded. Your music won't feed the colony, Queenie scuffed. She raised her antenna, Redman Anthony. Go. I'm going, Red said, as he trudged toward the picnic ground. Over here, Red, the ants called from the burger. It did smell yummy. But before Red reached his friends, a huge dark shadow passed over him, missing him by an inch. Yikes, Red gasped. The dark shadow came again. Red realized it was attacked. The dark shadow came again. Red realized it was attached to a giant black shoe. He was about to be squished. The shoe came down, down, down. Oh no, oh no, oh no. In his biggest voice, the one he used for wailing out rock and roll songs, Red shouted, Wait, please. The shadow moved away, just in time. Did I hear something? The big, mean-looking man who belonged to the shoe muttered. Nope, there's nothing here but a pesky little ant. Ants aren't welcome at picnics, Mr. Big and Mean bellowed. He raised his shoe again. But just then, Mr. Big and Mean noticed something shiny on Red's back. And he stopped. Red had to think fast. He had to think fast. He began to play louder than ever. It sounded merely like a distant hum to Mr. Big and Mean. Red saw the huge face coming closer and closer. Red wailed out the old Beatles song. Help! Can you hear me? Help! Well, I'll be an ant's uncle, the big voice boomed. What have we here? Please, begged Red. If you don't step on me, I'll, I'll, I'll rock your picnic. Free entertainment. Mr. Big and Mean chuckled. He scooped Red up with a butter knife and placed him on top of his shoe. The seconds ticked by, tick top to red it felt like hours 
Finally, Mr. Big and Mean spoke. Well, I guess we could use a little music. Hey gang, come on over. Red shrummed and plucked and wailed. He sang for his life, loudly crooning. Give Anne's a chance, man. But Red's little guitar and voice weren't loud enough for Mr. Big and Mean or the others to hear. And he didn't have his amplifier. He was too small. People began to walk away. No! Then suddenly Red saw thousands of aunts and uncles from Colony Ant Hill marching to help him. They brought the fiddling grasshopper and the whole lucky bug band. They even brought the beetles. Together, they dragged the big, heavy amplifier. Wow, you do believe in me, Red said. But the amplifier won't work without the battery from the junkyard car, he sighed. Then to Red's glee, in flew B, with a B-powered battery pack strapped to her back. Her friends from the hive swarmed behind her. Together, they whizzed and buzzed and flapped their wings, making B's battery pack hum with power. It worked! Red's guitar came alive. The Lucky Bug Band joined in. The sound got loud and louder and louder, and the people heard it. They clapped their hands and roared. Fantastic! They shouted, Rocket Red! Rocket Red! and the chant became his new name, Rocket Red. The people danced and sang and hooted and hollered until dark. Give us an encore, Rocket Red, they yelled. Fireflies lit up the sky while Rocket played. Fireflies lit up the sky while Red played his new anthem. Don't raid on my parade. The music brought them all together big and small, bugs and beetles, and people of all shapes and colors. Red and the Lucky Bug Band took a bow on the big black shoe. Queenie beamed with pride. Now the townsfolk invite the ants to share in every picnic. This is what Red always wanted, to play his guitar and make music. His dream finally came true. If you're interested, can you go back and see how many ants you can count? And here are some fun facts. Honeybees really do what's called a waggle dance, as Bee Bop did, to let their hive mates know when they found some nectar. Ants are strong. They can lift 20 times their own body weight, so carrying a burger up the hill would be an easy task. Queen ants have wings and can fly, just like Queenie flew in from her colony. Ants don't have ears, but they can feel musical vibration, like the ones from the Lucky Bug Band, through their feet on the ground. Rocket Red was inspired by a real guitarist named Ant. In nature, worker ants are female, so Red would have been a girl in Red Life. Rock on, girls. Thanks for reading.